Okay, what we're doing here is the final baking step in sealing the fuel tubes. This one happens to be the null side. We've sealed up the thermocouple tube in here with some uh, Parkamoff type cement. I've got the oven on its back here with a port down there. It's set for 200 degrees C. And underneath here, if you could pan down there, I've got a cup of water with a ceramic spacer in it. When I drop this down through the back of the furnace, like that, it puts the active end of the tube in the water. The reason we're doing this is to keep the fuel area from getting hot as we bake the cement here to activate it. This is following the directions from Alan Smith looking for heat. In his case, what he does is he puts the tube in his reactor backwards, but he's not using the core thermocouples. And so we've had to do it this way. So we just put it in like that. Close the door. Does the light stay on? Is the door closed? <laughs> we don't know. And now we just start it up. And there we go. Uh, Timestamp 1515. Okay, and we'll bake it for an hour or two. It should be enough. The cement has already been dried overnight and then pre-baked in a convection oven at about 85 C. And that should be safe for the fuel to not be messed with, we hope. This is an experiment after all. Thanks for watching.